Hello viewers, this is a tutorial on how to automate reblog on Tumblr using Socinator. If there are Tumblr posts you want to reblog, then Socinator can help you out. Let's start with the Accounts Manager screen from where we can navigate to configure the accounts. To do that, right-click on your Tumblr account and hit Go to Tools. This will take you to the Account Configuration screen. You can also see the available activities which can be automated on Tumblr through Socinator. Let's click Reblog. This is very useful as it makes it faster and easier to reblog a number of posts within a period of time while narrowing them down in the process. There are several configuration categories for reblog activity. Let's start with Search Query. As the name suggests, Search Query allows you to command the software on how to search targeted posts to reblog. There are two important sections, Query Type and Query. Query Type defines how you want to search the post. You can select the Query Type by clicking the drop-down button. Once you have chosen your Query Type, enter the query either manually by typing in this area, or you may click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file and click Open. When you're done, click the Add Queries to the List button and it will be added to the Queries list over here. To show you how this works, let's test each query type. For keywords, let's type cats for example. Click Add. So this will target posts containing this keyword and reblog them. The next one is Hashtag Users. This time, we need to enter a specific hashtag. Let's say hashtag cats. Click add. So it will target posts containing this hashtag. You can add several query types and queries depending on your preferences. If you want to delete a query from the list, simply click the trash bin button on the right side of the query you want to remove. Let's say you want to delete the second one. Click it and it's gone. The next configuration category is Job Configuration. This allows us to choose the speed at which an account should reblog posts. We have already created a few activity speed configurations which you can use, like Slow with an average daily activities of 40, Medium with 83, Fast with 125, or Super Fast with 208. Super Fast is not recommended for new or real accounts. If you want to define your own speed settings, click Advanced Settings. Delay between each operation is the number of seconds between each post is reblogged. Delay between jobs is the number of minutes the software should pause after reblogging the number of posts you set and number of reposts per job. Number of reposts per job will allow you to specify the number of posts you want to reblog per job or per cycle. You may also specify the number of posts you want to reblog per hour, per day, and per week. Click this box to increase each day with a specific number until it reaches another custom number of max repost per day. You can also create a daily schedule under day of the week when to operate. This is very useful if you want to keep reblogging posts even when you're asleep or busy doing other things. If you don't want to operate on let's say Monday, click the trash bin button under Monday and it's gone. You can add multiple time frames in one day. Simply click the day you want to configure, Monday for example, provide the start and end time, let's say 12 a.m. to 1.59 a.m. and click Add Interval and it's added. Let's add another one on the same day, let's say 2 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Click Add Interval. So as you can see, we can have several schedules in one day. You may save these time settings by clicking Create Favorite. Let's call it Tumblr. Reblog. Click Save. We can then open it by clicking Select Favorite Time and choosing Tumblr Reblog. The next tool is Post Filters. This allows us to filter the posts we want to reblog on Tumblr. Check the first one to specify the minimum and maximum number of the post's notes. Next, you can choose to ignore images or videos or texts. Let's choose to ignore videos, for example. Next, we have caption blacklists. So these are the words that should not be in the caption of the posts you want to reblog. Let's say politics, for example. You may clear using the clear all button and it's gone. You may also click this button to import from CSV or text file. Select the right file, blacklist, for example, then click open. 
The text was uploaded successfully, Politics. Click Save when you're done. For Caption Whitelist, it's the opposite. So these are the words that you want to be in the caption of the posts you want to reblog. Let's say cats, for example. Again, you may clear or import using these buttons. And when you're done, click Save. The next tool is Manage Blacklisted Users. Blacklisted users are the Tumblr accounts you do not want Socinator to interact with. In this case, Socinator will not reblog the posts of blacklisted users when this box is checked. So this can either be a private blacklist, which belongs to a specific Tumblr account, or a group blacklist, which is shared between all the accounts you add. The last tool is Other Configurations. Check the first box to perform action on posts of unique user from each account in this campaign. Check the second one to perform the same action on posts of unique user from all accounts in this campaign. The third one will allow you to perform the same action but on a unique post from all accounts in this campaign. Next, you can choose to perform the action from a random percentage of selected accounts. Then finally, you can specify the delay in terms of seconds when performing the action on a specific post. When you're satisfied with all the configurations and are ready to start reblogging posts on Tumblr, let's scroll up and click Save. Success! After saving, let's click the Status button to make it active. Now that it's active, let me show you another option in automating reblog on Tumblr using Socinator. This one allows us to create campaigns which is perfect for multiple accounts. To start, let's go to the upper right corner of the app and click the social drop-down button and select Tumblr. This will take us to the Accounts tab. Let's switch to the Reblog tab and select Reblog on the left side of the app. Here we can name our campaign. Let's call it Tumblr Reblog. For search query, let's select keywords as our query type and let's type cats in the query box. Click Add. For job configuration, let's select slow. For post filters, let's ignore videos. Then let's skip blacklisted users, private blacklist. For other configurations, it's up to you. When you're ready, let's click the blue button, select account or accounts. In this part, you can select multiple Tumblr accounts. Since we only have one, let's go with that by checking the box. Then click save. After saving, let's click the red button, create campaign. If you want to proceed, Click your account and the Save button. This will automatically bring us to the Campaigns tab where you can see that you have successfully created our Tumblr reblog campaign. Click the Status button to pause the campaign and the Action button over here will allow us to edit, duplicate, or delete the campaign. And that's it for this tutorial. I hope you learned a lot and thank you so much for watching.